So as you noticed, I'm recording this outside of the computer, not inside of the, uh, not inside of the computer. So I'm not using like recording software to record a screen to give it a chance to this card to actually reach the at least 60 frames per second on computer that we have here, which are the specs as you see here. So it's an i7 with 4770K. Let me zoom in a little bit here so you guys can see better. It's i7 with 4770K and it has, it's not overclocked or anything, it's a standard speed, so it's a maximum of 3.5 gigahertz, which is fine, and memory is 16 gigabytes at 3900 megahertz speed in dual channel. So again, I just kinda wanna point this out that if I'm recording on the computer at the same time and try to get 60 frames per second, that may not happen in 4K. So if I record it outside here, then it has a chance because you lose sometimes 10, 15 frames per second while you're trying to record the gameplay at the same time. And also I'm recording this video specifically in 60 frames per second so you guys can see whether it's actually smooth or not when it comes to performance. All right, my friends, time to test. We do have a benchmark. This game is called Strange Brigade, but it has a benchmark built in. I believe this uses Unreal 4 engine. I'm not 100% sure, but two people do use it for benchmarks. Um, it is set to 3840 by 2160, as you can see here. So this is 4K resolution on my monitor. Render scale was at 70%. By the way, that was left over from my previous card and the game ran just fine. So I'm gonna leave it back to 100%, which is the actual 4K resolution that we have. I had it lowered to 70 before. Uh, and of course I had to customize things to uh, have it running. Uh, here I'm just going to select to Ultra. And to be fair, I'm going to customize it and remove anti-aliasing, because at this resolution, we don't really need anti-aliasing. Everything else is set to ultra. However, what I'm expecting is actually to do get 60 FPS on medium settings, but let's see what happens on ultra. And uh, motion blur, where's our... I hate motion blur, by the way. I'm gonna remove that too as one of the things we can Anti-aliasing is set to ultra. We're going to turn that off. Just to give it a fighting chance, I'm gonna turn it off. Again, if you don't know what anti-aliasing is, it basically removes the jagged edges on, on items and things that you see, but with such a high resolution, you don't really need anti-aliasing. And I really can't explain that hard enough, but it's that's how it is. That's just simply how it is. Let's run our benchmark. Right now we're getting solid uh, 52, 56, 55 frames per second. If you can't see that, I will show you the results. It does show over here in the left corner. Now it's 50, 51, 50 frames per second, 59, 60 frames per second right now. It's pretty, pretty darn amazing. Solid 60 frames per second. Looks like it's because the V-Sync. It would probably go higher. I probably should have turned that off. 46, 45, 47, 48. 59, this is with V-Sync turned on, 49, 50, 47, 46, 47, 47. So when there's a lot of going on, it does go down to 47. Keep in mind, this is at ultra, so we can still adjust this accordingly. Still looks good, I mean, if you're playing on console and you don't necessarily care about it getting constant 100, or I should say, ah, that would be nice, 100, I was gonna say 100 frames per second, but 60 frames per second, um, that, you know, this may be more than acceptable. To me, I would totally play this, to be fair, um, to be honest, at 52 average FPS. Let's just do, you know what, let's just do high, right? High, and I'm going to turn on the V-Sync, because I don't like, so I'm gonna keep the V-Sync off, I use the default high, and I'm going to turn off anti-aliasing because just to give it a fair chance. So here we are, high, setting to high, V-Sync off 67, 68, 56, 54 right now, 58 FPS, 61. It went to jump to 62 a little bit. Now it's holding 60, 57, 55. So far so good. 
670 frames, 71, 71 frames per second on high 73, 74, okay, 60, now it's 54 frames per second. 51, 50, 48, 47, it really takes a toll on it right here. It went down to 40 just briefly, and now it's at 50, 51, it does dip down into 40s occasionally, now it's 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 50, so it's a lot better uh, when lowering it down to high settings, which to me is pretty excessive. So at this high area, high, you know, high uh, motion area where there's a lot going on, it was doing around 50, 52. So that's at the hardest, uh, I guess, I want to say difficulty at trying to perform this. So here we go. 56 FPS average on high with anti-aliasing off. Not bad. Let's move on to other video games. So of course I have to show Fortnite. This is Fortnite multiplayer, not the save the world one. So let me show you the settings real quick, then I'm going to jump into the game and I'll spare you the part where I jump down. Uh, this is what I had before in order to run with my old card. I'm going to set it up to 4K and you know what, let me see, I'm going to click automatic. I'm just going to leave it automatic, but I suspect much like the Strange Brigade, uh, Epic settings might be the sweet spot for this. I'm going to turn off anti-aliasing. <clears throat> So everything's set to epic except uh, anti-aliasing. I'm going to turn off V-Sync. Motion blur is off because I hate it. So I'm just going to leave it at that. You can turn it on or off, whatever you want. Uh, let's see here. And right away, you can see that we're doing 45, 45 frames per second. I'll do a post to zoom in so you guys can see. So I'm going to do a team rumble. I am terrible at this game, so I'll see you as soon as it loads. So here we are, we're getting about 40 frames per second. Now there's, this is near water, so you can see that the reflections can also lower the, the uh, resolution, I don't want to say resolution, but the frames per second. So at 39, 38, next to the body of water, which can be, uh, again, it could be effective, 39, So with 39, 40, 40 frames on average on epic settings with anti-aliasing turned off, we know that's not going to work for us. So we're going to change those settings real quick. We're going to set the settings to high. So everything's set to high. Um, a lot of computers won't be able to run this at epic at anything higher than 60 anyways to begin with. So we got high and then we've gone to have anti-aliasing off. And the 3D resolution, we're going to change it all the way to 4K. So that means it's actual full-blown 4K at 100%. Of course, you can lower this and get a lot more frames per second, but that's not what we want. We want to see if this, is actually, if this actually will work at legit 4K, regardless to details, you know, whether it's low, medium, high, or epic. So we're going to see what that does. And I'm getting 60, 61 frames per second. Tree, I'm going to zoom in guys for you real quick so you can see. That's just against the tree right here. So I want you to say it's kind of white, uh, but you can see it's right there. I'm going to zoom in for you. I'm going to run around. I apologize I didn't show the FPS earlier because my angle of my camera. So let me just grab a couple of things here. I'm going to go in real quick. And of course, looking at the wall, I'm going to get 70 plus FPS. So I need to at least get a gun for this area. So let me just do this real quick. And I saw some ammo underneath. You know, I'll be happy with this shotgun just for now. So that way, in case I do get an encounter, I am not destroyed immediately. So 57, 58, uh, I'm gonna make it so that you guys can see 67, 60 there. 56 uh, by the body water. That's actually pretty, pretty amazing. You can see it looks pretty amazing too. Let me do a little bit of zoom out action here. And just to adjust the angle a little bit. So let me show you. I live in the show me state, so I'm going to show you how it plays. It looks amazing, by the way. It's so crisp running it at actual true 4K. It's just amazing. 
Let's see. I have six minutes before the the shield comes through. So far, 60 frames per second on average, 56, 57. I'd say that's 60. That's pretty close to 60, right? Wow, I, I thought I was gonna have to adjust a little bit more there. I saw a dip for a fraction of a second into 40s, but it came right back up without any, ooh, what is this thing actually? Gliders, it's been a while since I actually played. Uh, game engine, I'm sorry for the for the pause there. It's the same game engine, Unreal 4 engine, so if you have a game that is Unreal 4 type, then you can probably expect the same type of performance, given that the game is optimized well. Again, 56 frames right now. Um, oh, yeah, I'm gonna jump up there and see if this glider thing works. What is this about? This pickup. And, you know, considering... Considering that this is a... Um, oh, so this just lets you basically deploy. That's all it does. Considering that this computer that I have is an older computer, um, and you can say that it's outdated right now, with this card, uh, it's running amazing. So you can do 4K. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Yes, you can have you have to tweak some settings, but you can do 4K, you know? Let me see if I can at least kill somebody here. I'm using a controller. Well, I got him, yay! And he was a streamer too. And <laughs> I mean, we jumped him, but you know, considering the fact that I am really bad at this game and I killed a streamer, I'll take it guys, I'll take it. Okay, we're gonna move on to another game that's going to be Destiny 2. Oh, let me see if I can get him. Oh, he got him before me. Anyways, let's head on to Destiny 2, see how that runs. All right, so far, so good. So this game is Destiny 2. Now we have a game that I was actually able to run in 4K uh, while using the other card, which is quite a bit older. And let's kind of go to the settings and see what we have right now. I think I did have 3840 by 2160 as you can see here. And I had VSync on. I'm going to turn that off just to see what we can get. Full screen, graphics quality. I had it custom. This is what I had on my old card. And I had the render resolution at 80%, and which allowed me to actually play it at 4K with my old card. So let's try just high settings. Again, I'm going to. Turn this up all the way 16 times, should be able to handle that just fine, texture quality. And again, I want to turn off motion blur because I simply hate it. It does have an impact on performance. And uh, render resolution 100%. Let's see, where is anti-aliasing? I'm going to turn that off as well. Again, we don't need that. Apply changes. That's been done and I'm going to go in game and see what's going on. So we're inside the game, I'm just using a gamepad, and so far we are getting around 50, 60, 55 to 60 frames per second, just dropping down here. Uh, really good so far. Let's see if we can maintain that in some kind of battle, of, of form of battle, some kind of activity. So far, if you want to know where the counter is, it's right up here. I will zoom in, zoom in occasionally so you guys can see that. So far, so good. 60 FPS. Not a whole lot going on. Oh, he's immune to that. Well, let's see, see if he's immune to that. Not bad. We're getting around 60 frames per second the way it is right now, I'd say that is really good considering we did some minor changes. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's see here. He 
he is way over my level, I think. I don't know why I'm not able to get any damage on him. So, I guess 60 FPS on average, I am pleasantly surprised that it's doing well. Occasional hitch there, but this could be due to the fact that I'm actually not running this game off of a solid state drive. This is just on a regular magnetic storage. So, I mean, what else is there to say? <laughs> 60 frames per second, just right out, right off the bat, it's like, I'm pleasantly surprised, guys. Um, if you'd like me to test some other games, please let me know. I'm here to help you. If you have any questions, installing anything, or uh, with installation, with drivers, I am a certified IT professional, no joke, and um, it's my job, literally, to work on computers and help people out, whether they have any questions regard in regards to that, or in regards to computers or anything like that. If you want to buy this card, there's a link in the description. If you use that link, I will get some percentage from that. So if you do, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. All right. I hope you like this video. Please share it with friends or family. And uh, I, you know, I think I'm just gonna play some games. I'm kind of being distracted here uh, with this. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go enjoy this game. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.